it's time for the ladies to take center stage as the Boston Lady Demons get ready to challenge the club from the nation's capital. The D.C. Lady Eagles have come to town to take part in this day of footy and festivities, along with the men's side from Baltimore. Our coverage of this battle between these two friendly rivals is on tap as stateside footy starts now. We're on location at Millennium Park in West Roxbury, Massachusetts, where today the Boston Lady Demons will face the women's side from the D.C. Eagles Footy Club. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Stateside Footy, the program that brings you the game of Australian rules football as it's played here in the United States. Alongside camera people Dave Habib and Tristan Levine, I'm Bill Robert, and today we bring you some women's footy and this season's first look at the Boston Lady Demons. Today, the Lady Demons will be facing the D.C. Eagles women's side in a full 4x15 match. On the program so far this season, it's been the Demons men's side and the newly minted Maine Cats. The Lady Demons have seen some action, but it's been on the road. Also, they've been on mixed sides, so they haven't always played wearing the Lady D's colors. Today, the gals have a home game on the schedule, and we'll bring you that entire match in just a bit. In our last episode, the Boston Demons men's side came away with a big win against the Baltimore Dockers. Birthday boy Sam Barnett kicked seven goals and helped to propel his Demons club. The final score, Boston 15-11-101, Baltimore 5-12-42. Coming up, the Boston Lady Demons will don the red and the blue as they take on the D.C. Lady Eagles. That action will be coming up next, right here on the 80th episode of Stateside Footy. Women's footy about to take place here at Millennium Park. Today it is the Boston Demons versus a mixed side. It's the uh, D.C. Lady Eagles and also the uh, Philadelphia Lady Hawks. Basically, they're going to be wearing the Eagles colors today. And they're come, they've come to town to take on the Boston Lady Demons. And we're just about set to start play. They've got the ball at center. And uh, actually, you know, they're bringing the ball to center right now as uh, someone's trying to uh, launch into the sky behind us here. And I'm not talking about a specky or a, an amazing mark. Someone's actually got... Uh, whatever you call those parachute thingies that they're trying to <laughs> trying to basically uh, render themselves free of the bonds of earth. Here we go, the whistle goes, and well, the ball's going up anyway, and it's a hit out, and here we go, we've got footy, and uh, right now the ball goes to ground, everyone trying to get there, and uh, it comes out, and looks like, uh, well, let's see here, it's gonna go to the ground, and the Lady Demons are giving chase, and kicking goes in towards the uh, sticks, and let's see here, it's uh, keep keeping up. We're in a bad position here, so I'm, I'm going to call him as best I can, but uh, I'll do what I can here. The ball going to number 13, that's Lauren Kelly. Kelly right now, she gets the mark, so she gets the free kick. She kicks it up and goes over everybody. Lady D's get it now. That's Allison Monahan. She's able to get it to the boot now and kicks out. And uh, yeah, actually, it's marked. They gave her the mark there. That's uh, Sam Worrell, number three. And they're playing on the boundary now. And the ball goes out of bounds, so we're going to have a boundary throw in. And it goes to ground. And Lady D's trying to make a kick towards goal, but the Eagles get hands on it momentarily. And now here we go. Lady Eagles, that's kick is smothered. Eagles have it now. That's number eight. That's uh, L Lindsay Terse. And uh, they kick it up now. Going towards the sticks. It's going to roll. Will it get there in time? It looks like it's going to go out, and it's going to be taken there by number five. That's Katie Ree. Katie Ree, the Lady D, has it now. She kicks it all the way up looking for uh, Katie Anderson. And it's going to go to the far boundary. Picked up by one of the uh, Eagles there. And she's able to get free and kick. And goes into the hands of one of the Lady Ds. And here we go. Kick goes forward, and she can't mark it, though. It's going to head towards the sticks. And where's that going to go? That's going to go right in front. A couple of players battling for it along the ground. We've got a whistle. And I believe we're going to have a free kick behind the ball. Yep, the Lady Demons will have a free kick. And that kick goes up and almost marked there. Bunch of players going after it. And the ball goes to ground. Finally, someone's able to get a boot to it and it goes wide. 
Lady Demons on the march. Trying to get there is Allison Monahan. She's got it now. And handballs it off. She can't hang on to it, though. Ball goes back to ground. Bunch of players battling over it right now. And we've got another whistle. And I believe it's just going to be tied up. The umpire's going to call for it. And just bounce it back up for grabs. And we'll start play once again after that quick stoppage. Hit out. No clear advantage yet. And the ball's still going to ground. Towards the boundary. Eagles trying to move it forward. Lady D's still in there, too. And the ball looks like it's uh Actually, no, they keep it in play. I thought it was going to go out, but uh, still in play. And the Lady Eagles have it right now. And that's a kick down the field looking for. And no, the, she didn't mark it. Battling in there now, that's Ree. Kicked ahead by the Deagles, uh, the Eagles. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. And let's see here. They handball it ahead and knocked away. Christina Glenn in there. She gets a hand to it. But now kick toward the sticks, and that's going to be, that looks like a goal. It is. So the Lady Eagles with the first score of the match. It's a straight kick and a goal, and right now the score stands. D.C. won straight six, and the Lady Demons yet to touch the scoreboard. But once again, we've just started here. I'll leave that up to you. It's rolling, yeah. Sure. If you if you can do it, yeah, sure. Just unplug that, yep. And also unplug the uh, shotgun mic. As it goes up once again, no clear advantage, but the Eagles get the crumbs now, and they're off and running with it once again. And kick the head, bounces off a couple of hands. Lady Demons try and kick it out. Can't quite do it. Still along the ground, far side. Bunch of players battling for it. And finally the umpire says, okay, I'll just take it and toss it up. Tossed up once again for grabs. Hit out by the Lady Eagles, but they can't move it any further than that as everyone's wrapped up. And it looks like it's just going to be balled up once again. And hit forward. Lady D's have it, though. A little bit of a ski jump kick. She can't mark it. Ball goes back to ground. A lot of congestion, uh, congestion there. And it looks like we've got a whistle. And we have another stoppage in play. Looks like it'll be a free kick. Free kick for the Demons going to Sam Whirl. And she gets a nice kick off. Looking for not quite getting her intended target, Katie Anderson. Ball goes back to ground. A couple of players from each club battling for it right now. Kick goes in toward the Demon goals. Almost marked there. Not quite. That was uh, Sarah Muscarella wearing the number eight. And uh, coming out once again, uh, they try a handball and it bounces and it winds up going out of bounds. So we'll have a boundary throw in. Good result for the Lady D's though as it happens basically in their left forward pocket. Punched out now, and the ball once again to the ground. Lady Demons trying to kick it. Marked right in, and the kick, and the goal! Sarah Muscarella with a major score for the Demons. And the Lady Ds have leveled the scores. It's now one straight six for DC, and one straight six for Boston, and they'll bring that one back to center. Sarah Muscarella finding the big sticks for the Lady Ds. come back and they'll toss everything up again. You're watching Stateside Footy. We're coming to you from Millennium Park in West Roxbury, Massachusetts on a beautiful Saturday afternoon in late August as the uh, umpire trying to get all the players in the proper position. Ruck's ready to go to work. Umpire tosses the ball up. And it's hit out to the Eagles. Hit out to advantage. Taken there and uh, with it there, number six, actually. That's Amy Arendale. And then the ball goes to ground. Knocked ahead by one of the Lady Demons. But then trying to get it there is uh, another one of the Lady Ds. Gets kicked forward now. Eagles have it. She's able to just get the handball off before she gets wrapped up. Next player gets tackled, though. And... They'll toss it up once again as the umpire called ball tied up. Uh, it calls for the ball up. And uh, it's going back to the far boundary once again. 
Lady D is trying to work with it, but the Lady Eagle's getting in the way. A lot of congestion on that ground right now. Really hard footy out there right now. And once again, they will blow the whistle. And the umpire says, my ball, and he will toss it up for grabs once again. Punch it out once again. That's a nice hit out to advantage for the Lady Eagles. That kick heading for the sticks. It lands, and that's going to be another goal. 45-degree angle, probably about 20 meters out, and she nailed it. So there we go. Lady Eagles back in the lead. They scored the first points of this match. And the Demons tied them up. Now the Lady Eagles go back on top. Two straight 12, one straight six to score. And they'll bring that back up to center. Didn't actually see who got that ball to the boot, but that was a heck of a kick. Covered some distance. It was at a bit of an angle, but it found the big sticks. And the Lady Eagles are back on top of the Lady Demons. And once again, right now, the ruck work. She's hitting it out to advantage, and they're getting the clear play out of the stoppages. Once again, she is moving. She's on the move and kicks another one. And that's what's going to go through for a behind, it looks like. Either a behind, or is that going to be uh, out on the full? No, it's out on the full, so it's a free kick for the Demons. No scoring shot there. Katie Reed kicks it in, and it goes through a sea of hands. And the Eagles have it once again. She's able to get the ball to the boot before she is wrapped up. And the ball looks like it uh, goes out of bounds. Actually, no, went out of the full. So as a result, Lady Eagles will have another free kick. They already lead by a goal early on here in quarter number one. And it is marked by the Lady Demons. She's going to play on now. And kick bounces off. And she gets it now. That's number 25. That's actually, I don't have her here, but. <laughs> That's uh, one of the mystery players here. As one of the Eagles gets it now, she is wrapped up. And she can't get the ball to the boot. And we got a whistle. And we got another stoppage. And actually, that'll be holding the ball. So getting rewarded for the tackle there, one of the Lady Demons. And that's going to be number three once again. That's uh, Sam Worrell, who will get the free kick. And she kicks it in towards the sticks, just past the outstretched arms of her intended target. I believe that's Muscarella once again. She's got the lone goal for the Lady Ds right now. And the ball did roll out of bounds, so we'll have a boundary throw in. Still good for the Lady Ds because it comes in their right forward pocket. They just have to get a boot to it now, try and kick it off the deck. And let's see, the Eagles handball it off. That is a nice smother and trying to pick the ball up there. Not quite getting it, though, is Worrell. Worrell has it now. And let's see here. She is wrapped up again, and the ball is still loose. Still in play, though. Still in bounds. Kick goes in close, and let's see. Knocked away and brought away by the Lady Eagles. There's a race for the ball now. And it looks like it'll be out of bounds. In fact, the ball did go out of bounds. So we'll have another boundary throw in. Uh, going, uh, one of the uh, players going after there was uh, Alex Pike for the Lady Ds. Hit out once again. And this is the, one of the big differences in the game right now. The Lady Eagles are able to get that uh, hit out to advantage. But Katie Reed picks it up right now. And she's able to get it to the boost. Nice high kick. And let's see, that's going to roll out. And looks like that'll be another uh, boundary throw in. Indeed, it will be. Ball goes up, and once again, got to hand it to the uh, the ruck for the Lady Eagles right now because she is hitting everything just out to advantage, and the Lady Eagles are getting the uh, early play out of those stoppages. And once again, the ball is wrapped up, and the umpire is going to call for it. So watch right now. Number 14 for the Lady Eagles, who I actually do not have here on the list, but uh, every time they toss that ball up, she is up, and she's getting to that ball and then hitting it out, and uh, they are uh, getting an, an instant play out of that uh, contest. And once again, oh, she is wrapped up now. One of the Lady Eagles uh, had it, and now they kick it ahead, and it's going to roll out, and that'll be out of bounds too. Still a better result for the Lady Eagles if they're able to move it further up the field and into their scoring range once again as the boundary throw-in comes back in, and it's hit out once again, and this time the Lady Ds uh, pick it up there, but then they can't really do anything with it. Kick the head out of the ground. There's a race for it now. Who's going to get there first? It's going to be the Lady Ds. But then that kick is smothered. Ball is still at center. And getting in there. Allison Monahan just ripped it out of her opponent's hands. Nice job there. But the Lady Eagles will pick it up off the ground once again. And uh, with it there, that's number eight. That's Lindsay Terse. And the ball goes up. And that is taken. That is marked. The kick marked there. Erica Sachi, number seven, has it now. And she's just going to look and just blast a line drive up the field. Eagles have numbers. Can they get the ball to sit for them? Kick goes through, and that is another goal. Number six, Amy Arendale. 
And so far, three scoring shots for the Lady Eagles and three major scores. Three straight 18 right now for the Lady Eagles. Lady D's still on one straight six, and they'll bring it back up to center. Just a reminder, you're watching Stateside Footy. Uh, this is uh, right now the episode you're watching between the Boston Lady Demons and the uh, uh, D.C. Lady Eagles with the uh, Philadelphia Lady Hawks mixed in there, too. Next episode, we're actually heading up to Vermont. There's going to be a new team coming out there. Not sure what the name is yet. It's all just coming together here, but uh, it'll be Vermont and Quebec and Boston and Maine, and that'll be in the next few episodes of Stateside Footy, so do stay tuned for that. Kicked ahead uh, as by their uh, Allison Monaghan has it now, but uh, picked up by the Lady Eagles, and once again, they look to move it back. And the kick marked. Marked there. That's number eight. Once again, that's Lindsay Terse. And she just gets a small kick out. And it's picked up there by Sachi. Looking for a target and close. It is marked. Once again, number 14. I don't have her number here, but uh, she's been terrific in the ruck so far. And she's just backing up, getting ready to take her shot at goal. Takes her walk up, takes her kick, and that looks like another goal. And indeed it is, so the Lady Eagles definitely in flight now, increasing their lead. Four goals, that's 24 points so far for them. Lady Demons still on one straight six. So this is the second of two games today, earlier on today. In our previous episode, you saw the battle between the Baltimore Dockers and the Boston Demons. Final score of that game was the Demons 101 and the Dockers 42. As it comes out of the ruck, and once again, the Eagles have it first, and they're getting the clear advantage right out of any stoppage. Kicked centering ball now, and once again, marked. Eagles are definitely flying high right now. So far, they've kicked four shots on goal, and they've kicked truly. And make that five kicks, I believe. Yep, they're bringing it back to center, so that is another goal. So now five straight 30 for the D.C. Lady Eagles slash Philly Lady Hawks. But we're just going to call them the Eagles because they're wearing the Eagles colors today. And the Lady D still at one straight six. Lady Eagles came out of the shoot early with a quick score. Lady Demons came back, and all of a sudden, since then, it's been all DC. And uh, that'll do it. That's quarter time. And so there we go, one quarter in the books. And so far, the Lady Eagles are the ones who are really booking it. At quarter time, the score stands the Boston Lady Demons. One goal, six points. And the D.C. Lady Eagles, five goals, 30 points. Coming up next, we'll have second quarter action. You're watching Women's Footy right here, Boston versus D.C. Philly, and you're watching it right here on Stateside Footy. Are you into retro gadgets? Ta-da! Then here's your dose of old-school tech. This is Tech Throwback, your place to turn for the techno trend from way back when. On Tech Throwback, we look at old computers, classic video games, and all those little doohickeys that used to brighten up your day. Yeah. Tech Throwback can be seen on public access television, or you can check us out online at vimeo.com slash channels slash tech throwback. It's the way we used to compute and play back in the day, and you can watch it anytime on Tech Throwback. About to start the second quarter of action here between the Boston Lady Demons and the mixed D.C. Philly team. And by the way, in the ruck there, number 14, we mentioned we didn't have a number for her yet. That's uh, Johanna Gleason, who's uh, done some good work in the ruck and also kicked a couple of goals. And Gleason tries to tap it up, <laughs> punches it up, gets a second shot at it, and the Lady Eagles are with it once again. And let's see here. Kicked up. And almost marked. Not quite there. That was uh, Kristen Pody who tried to pick that one up there. And Lady Eagles once again pressing in their attacking half. Going for and skipping and running through. And could be a break for the Lady Demons. It does shit for her. And she kicks it toward the goals. It's heading in for the sticks and let's see here. I believe that's a behind. But it's a point for the Lady Demons. And now it's 1-1-7 for the Lady Ds. And five straight 30 for the Lady Eagles. 
And there's Kristen Luff taking it out there. Kick in from her own back goal square. And the kick in. Almost goes right back into the hands of the Demons. The battle for it now. She's, she drops the ball. And I believe the umpire is just going to call for it. Indeed, the umpire does call for it. It goes up once again. And it's hit out once again by Gleason. But then winds up in Lady D's hands momentarily. She's not able to hang on to it. She's still fighting for it now. That's um, Alex Mims once again. Well, Alex Pikes, as she just known now. But uh, used to be, well, it's Alex Mims Piker. There you go. Um, so Katie Reed's got it now. She gets wrapped right up. She's able to get the ball to the boot, though. Eagles have numbers there, though. And they kick it in toward the sticks. And... That one's going to go well wide. I think it's going to go uh, behind. So right now the Lady D's get a point, and then the Lady Eagles get a point. The Lady D's and the Lady E's here on a Saturday afternoon. 5-1-31 now for D.C. Philly. And Boston takes the kick in, and knocked away by one of the Lady Eagles who's got it now. She kicks it in toward the sticks, and that looks pretty straight. That's a goal. That was number six, Amy Arendale, who I believe that's her second goal. So now it's 6-1-37 for the Lady E's. 6-1-37 and 1-1-7 for the Lady D's. As they bring it back up to center. So right now, Lady Eagles up by five straight kicks. Right now, once again, the Lady Eagles with a clear advantage in the ruck. Hit out once again. And Gleason. Gleason is ferocious in the ruck. She's got the height, and she uses it to her advantage. And one of the Lady Ds gets it. She's wrapped right up. And I believe that might be a push. Yeah, she got a push in the back. So as a result, the Lady Ds will have a kick. Free kick there. Kick goes up and marked. Nice job there. That's number 25, who I actually don't see a number here for right now. Uh, she kicks up and looking for, not quite, getting, not quite getting her target as it's intercept marked there by one of the Lady Eagles. That's uh, Barb Dempsey. And uh, she gets the boot to it now. It's just going to go to center. And let's see, we got a whistle. And they're going to bring it back. And it looks like one of the Lady D's might, get a, might be getting a free kick behind the ball. Indeed, she might be. That's Sam Worrell. And so an opportunity for the Lady Demons. And the kick goes up, and it's going to skip through, and it's going to go off the set of hands. And it looks like it went through for a behind. No, it didn't actually. It went before the post. So it's a boundary throw-in. Lady Demons, if they can get this, can still get one real quick. And it goes over everybody. Worrell tries to pick it up. She can't. And let's see. Kick goes to center. And it's marked. Intercept marked, actually. And then kicked. That is a nice long kick for the Lady Eagles. Goes past everybody, though. And we've got a whistle. Nope, actually, they're still going. And kick uh, now going, rowing towards the sticks. There's a race for it. And it's going to go right to the pocket. Kicks across the face of goal. Skips along to the other side. And trying to get it there is Worrell. She is knocked down. Lady D's trying to move it out. But then with it now is Gleason. Gleason gets rid of it. And then, oh, she's tackled. And that's, let's see. The free kick. I believe it was a, I saw her foot. So I believe it was kicking in danger. So the Lady Demons, yeah, that kick goes over Worrell's head. As they did get the free kick. But then the kick went and rolled and went out of bounds. So it looks like it'll be another boundary throw in. I'm sorry, no, it's not. It's a kick out on the full. So it'll be the Lady Eagles who get the free kick. And that looks like a little bit of a ski jump kick there. And it's spoiled by Katie Reed. Ball goes to ground. But then the Eagles pick it up, kick in toward the sticks. And it's a behind. 
And now the score stands 6-2-38 to 1-1-7. And the kick goes up, and let's see here. It goes off a couple of sets of hands. Eagles pick it up once again, kick toward the sticks, and that's a goal. That's another one. And now it's 7-2-44. And the D.C. Eagles right now are on a roll. Lady E's really taking it to the Lady D's. As it comes up once again for grabs and hit out once again by Gleason. And the Eagles are going to get to it first once again. And that is, that is a key. If you can get that clean a clearance out of the stoppages, then you're going to do well. And that's what's happening right now for the Lady Eagles. As the ball goes out of bounds and it's thrown in, and it's hit once again out to, uh, I thought it was out to advantage, but uh, Worrell gets in there, and she kicks now, and they're just basically playing fetch. Lady Eagles will get it once again, but then she is wrapped up right by the boundary line. And we've got a whistle, and it's tied up. The umpire will call for it. And they'll just toss it up for grabs. And they'll hit it over. And it comes back out. And knocked ahead off the deck. Lady Eagles will be there to pick it up, though, and they'll kick it back to center. But it's picked up by Boston, at least momentarily. Eagles have it now. Handball, another handball, yet another handball. And a big kick in once again toward the sticks. And that's going to go well wide, and that'll be out of bounds, and we're going to have a boundary throw in. Almost the halfway point of this second quarter, and right now it's 44-7 to in favor of the D.C. Philly combined team. As it gets tossed back in, knocked out, no clear advantage yet. Eagles have it now, and it goes off a couple of people. And they battle for it along the ground. Loose ball. With it now is Gleason. She handballs it ahead. Lady D's have it now, and she's able to kick it out. And it's marked. And let's see here. Here comes the kick. Line drive kick. Skips, hops, and goes off the hands of number seven. That's uh, Alex Pike. Pike still battling for it, but the Lady Eagles will pick it up. Handballed ahead. Takes the bounce. They try and handball it back. Lady Eagles have it now. And, oh, almost they almost had it there. But now that player is brought to ground as the uh, Lady Demons try to move with it. Kicked in, and that's another behind. Another point for the Lady E's. 7-3-45 to 1-1-7. One, one, And the Lady Eagles making a quick change in players. So now taking the kick in, it's Katie Ree, the Lady D. And she gets a kick up along the far wing. Race for it. Nice job there by World trying to get to it. Allison Monahan's there with it. Now she gets the crumbs. She turns around, makes herself some space, handballs it to Worrell. Worrell is able to move. Tries a centering kick. And almost taken away by the Lady Eagles. Kicked forward once again. Lady Eagles get to it first. And then another Lady Eagle has it. She's wrapped up. A couple of players there. Christina Glenn in the action there. And the umpire just calls for it. He'll ball it up. Comes up once again. Hit out to advantage by the Eagles. But now, kick toward the sticks. And let's see here. It's going to skip. It's going to roll. And... Let's see here, it gets touched. So that's a behind. Now it's 1-2-8 for the Lady Demons as that kick was headed toward the goals. But one of the Lady Eagles was able to get to it last second and touch it before it went over. And the uh, kick in. And we've got a whistle. And I believe they're going to bring it back. They're going to redo the kick in. And that's a nice kick, goes over everyone's head and just heads for the far boundary. 
And it looks like it's going to be out. We'll have a boundary throw in. Toss back in. And Lady D's have it. Kicked in, looking for. It's marked. Oh, they didn't pay it. But she's got it now. Kicks to the goals. And I hear applause. I hear celebration. And I believe that's a goal. So the Lady D's completing that seven-point play. They got the behind, kept the ball on their end of the field, and they record another goal. So now they add to their total. It's 2-2-14. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That was another behind. So it's 1-3-9. One, one, uh, yeah, and then it was marked, but then brought back. As one of the Lady D's marked the kick in, but then the Eagles got a hold of it, and that's where they, we are right now, basically, as it's brought across the field. Lady D's in there fighting. Worrell trying to kick it ahead. Lady D's have it now. That's Monahan once again getting the crumbs, and she gets it to the boot, and it is marked. Marked there by Katie Anderson. And she gets a big kick in, and it's going to go to ground. And who's going to get there first? Looks like the Lady Eagles will be there once again. She is wrapped up, and she is dispossessed. No holding the ball, or is it? No, it's, it is. Holding the ball. And the kick now heads in towards the sticks. And that one looks like it's going to be a behind, too. So now it's 1 4 10 for the Lady D's. And that kick going high. Players performing under it. Uh, they didn't pay the mark. That was a nice attempt, though. By one of the Lady Eagles. But now here we go. Lady Demons have it. She's got the ball. And it's just a bit of a grubber kick there. Along the ground. And brought out by the Lady Eagles. Lady Demons there now. Kick toward the goal. And they try and get it over. Let's see here. In the pocket for the Lady Ds. They're looking to press. Centering ball. They play on. Not 15 they say. She's got it now. She's wrapped up. Christina Glenn in there with the tackle. And we got a whistle. And they're just going to ball it up. So what we thought was a seven-point play before wasn't quite. I thought it had gone through for a goal, but turns out it was not. As the uh, Lady D's could use another goal, and they could use one quickly as it gets tossed up once again. Get out. Take in there. And let's see here. Katie Anderson kicks it out on the full. So that'll be a free kick for the Eagles. Amy Arendale, who has a couple of goals already, is set to uh, kick it. She's got the free kick. And goes up and goes over everybody. Goes to ground. Lady Eagles look to pick it up. They've got it now. And they've got a target. They can't get it to her, though, but it's a race. And will she get there in time? She kicks it, and that's just a point. 7 4 46 now. As once again, the Lady Eagles pushing the ball back into their attacking zone. Kick in comes, goes over everybody's head. Christina Glenn there, but uh, she can't pick it up in time as the ball rolls over the boundary. And we'll have another throw in. Almost at halftime here. And so far, Lady Eagles off to a big Big lead here as uh, the Eagles get a free kick and they kick it, and that is marked. She's got an angle, but she's going for it. She's going to try to kick it goal. And she looks to bend it, and that's just a behind. Came a little short. So there we go. That is the end of the second quarter of action. And then that one, the... Uh, Lady Eagles picked it up a lot more, added some more points to their lead. And at halftime, the score stands. The D.C. Philly Lady Eagles Hawks combo team, 7-5-47. And the Boston Lady Demons, one goal, four behinds, ten points. Coming up next, we've got the second half of action for you. You're watching women's footy, D.C. and Philly against Boston, right here on Stateside Footy.
Just about to get underway right now, 47 to 10 in favor of the Lady Eagles from D.C. with a little help from their friends in Philly. Difference makers for the uh, Lady Eagles, Joanna Gleason, number 14, who has done some great work in the ruck. She does it again as she hits it out, and the Eagles almost get it to advantage, unfortunately. Uh, for them, one of their players was uh, wrapped up by one of the Lady D's. Handball goes to Allison Monahan, but not a very good handball as she can't field it cleanly. And moved up ahead by the Eagles once again. Ball comes loose. Oh boy, there we go. That's a looks like we had a push in the back, maybe. Yes, yeah, penalty for a push in the back, free kick. So it's going to go, I believe that's Gleason with it, and she'll kick it ahead, and it'll be marked. Marked there by Amy Arendelle once again. And she's just going to take a shot at goal. We just saw those goal posts kind of go over in the wind and for a little bit there. She's got the distance, does she have the aim? And that is another straight kick. Eight five fifty three now for the Lady Eagles. Lady D still on one four ten, and they'll bring it back up just uh, real quick. Real quick, um, ruck entry and goal, and that was textbook for the Lady Eagles. As it goes up once again, hit out right into the hands of one of the Lady Eagles, who I think she kind of ski jumped it. Christina Glenn trying to bat it forward, and uh, Monahan wrapped up after she picks it up. Loose ball, once again kicked toward the sticks, and that looks like that's going to go through. That'll be a single point. 8-6-54. 54 to 10 now is the score. Lady Demons to take the kick in from their old back goal square. Kick goes up now, and almost marked. You can't quite take it there. That's number 21. That's a Kristen Patti. And... But he's got it. Handball out to Monahan now. Monahan takes her time and tries to kick one up. Battle for it along the ground now. And once again, Lady D is trying to pick it up and do something with it. Ball going further toward the Lady Demons attacking goals. But then it goes wide, and that'll be over the boundary line, and that will be a boundary throw in. Goes back once again, punched out by Gleason. And the ball goes through the uh, couple of the sticks. Uh, that's going to be a score for the Lady D's. So now 1 5 11. And the Eagles take the kick in from their own back goal square. And that is a nice long kick, and that is marked. Lady Eagles have it there. I believe that's Dempsey once again with it. And she will kick it up. And Gleason can't get it. She picks it up off the ground, though, and then handballs it off. And once again, the Eagles move it ahead. That's Arendelle with it now. Over to Gleason. Gleason, kick in, and almost marked. She can't quite get it off the ground. Handballed off now, and then taken away by the Lady D's. That kick is smothered. And Arendelle towards the sticks. That looks like that's going to be a behind. So now 8-7-55. for the Lady Eagles. Lady D's once again to take the kick in from their own back goal square. As Katie Reed gets it to the boot. Kick goes up and goes for everybody. Ball still ground. Kicked off the deck. That was a uh, number 17. That was a uh, silly Sobral. And kicked ahead. That looks, looks like it's going to go out of bounds. Question is out of bounds to the roll or did it go out of bounds in the full? When out of bounds in the full, it'll be a free kick, Lady D's. And that'll be taken by Christina Glenn. Glenn kicks it up ahead. And marked. Nicely done. And kicked up once again. And intercept marked there. And that's Sabral once again for the Lady Eagles. And she gets it to the boot. That's a big kick. And it goes through everybody. Goes to ground. There's a race for it now. Picked up by the Lady Eagles. She's going to kick it toward the sticks. And it's going to be a behind. 8-8-56 eight, eight, now for the Lady Eagles. So we're just about a third of the way into this third quarter. It 
Goes up once again, and Lady D is trying to work with it. And they can't quite do it. As the ball rolls out of bounds, it'll be a boundary throw in. Up it goes once again. Head out by Gleason. Goes back to Gleason. She picks it up momentarily, but then the Lady D is working up. And now there's a race for it. And nice job by the Lady Demons. And a kick there toward the sticks. That's Kristen Patti once again. And actually sprayed pretty wide. And looks like it'll be another. Uh, actually, is that going to be a boundary throw in or is that a free kick? No, that's a boundary throw in. The umpire's taking it now. I wasn't sure when I saw the uh, Eagles player taking it. I was like, ooh, is that going to be out on the full? But nope. Just a boundary throw in. Tossed up now. Hit ahead, but right to one of the Lady D's. But then she's dispossessed. And we've got a whistle. And that looks like that'll be a holding the ball call. Paid against the Demons, so the free kick going to the Eagles. And that kick going up, and bounces off a set of hands. Goes to ground. Lady D's trying to work with it now. The ball goes back, and it's picked up. Allison Monahan kicking it ahead now for the Lady Demons. Lady Demons trying to get it through, although the uh, Lady Eagles seemingly have numbers for the moment. And we've got another whistle, another stoppage, and a free kick going to D.C., And that kick goes up and goes through everybody. Winds up going out, going to ground. And moved again by the Lady Eagles. There's a race for it now. First one there, is that going to be uh, Kelly? Kelly trying to get to it. Kelly gets it off the ground. Handball's back. And a kick, actually, I think that kind of got smothered from what I can see here. Once again, punched ahead and head even more. And the Lady Eagles, oh boy. And that was going to go out. Actually, that's a behind. 8 9 57 now. Good news for the Lady D so far. Even though uh, Baltimore, even though um, DC has more scoring shots so far in this quarter, they've all been minors. And we've got a whistle. And a mark. And it'll be an intercept mark. So the Eagles will kick it once again. And almost intercepted there by the Lady Demons. But then taking it and kicking it. That is a goal. That was a beautiful play. Erica Sachi, number seven. The ball was rolling. She just picked it up, got it to the boot, snapped it right through. And now we're at 9-9-63. Nine, nine, nine goals, nine behinds for the Lady Eagles. Lady Demons right now, one goal, five behind 11 points. Past the halfway point of this third quarter. Goes up once again, hit out. Ball goes back to ground. And Battle, no one can get a clear possession on it yet. Trying there was uh, Terse. For the Lady Eagles. Lady Demons have it now. Kick going to um, Worrell. Sam Worrell. And that kick's going to bounce and going to be taken by the Lady Eagles. But then she is tackled. Not dispossessed, though. And here comes the kick. Uh, actually, the ball goes right through Terse's hands. I'm sorry, that's Kelly's hands. And the Lady Eagles working on it once again. Kick going up. And intercept marked by the Lady Demons. And the kick goes up, and there was a quick contest there. Nobody came up with the ball cleanly. Ball does go to ground. Once again, a bunch of players battling for it. The ball comes out, and we've got a whistle. And there will be a free kick awarded. Did not see the infraction. But the Eagles will have the free kick to be taken by number eight, Lindsay Terse. She's just looking right now, trying to line up some targets. And that's a spinning kick. Goes through everybody, hits the ground, or the ground and then bounces back up. And then from there, everyone's just piling on. One of the Eagles hits it off the deck, though. 
but it's not able to do much else than that. Lady Demon kicks it ahead, and then it's able to stay in play and stay in bounds. Lady Eagles kicking back, and almost marked. Actually, it is marked. Marked by the Lady Ds. And that kick goes up. That's a spinner. Intercept marked. So we had the Eagles kick, kick get intercept marked by the Lady Ds. And then the Lady Ds kick get in, in, intercept marked by the Eagles. And now it goes to uh, Dempsey. Dempsey kicks in toward the sticks. Almost marked. Ball loose on the ground. Glenn trying to come out with it. Lady Ds on the run. Katie Ree with the kick now. And that is marked. That's a heck of a mark. That's number 21 once again. That's a... Kristen, I'm sorry, yeah, Kristen uh, Pote. I thought that was an A, that's actually an, an O. Kristen Pote. And the kick goes over the head of all the players. And trying to work with it now, but then getting wrapped up and hauled down. And we've got a whistle. And with, involved in that play there was um, Sobra once again. And the umpire will toss it up. Head out to advantage once again by DC. Lady Demons get it now and the kick goes through and looks like it was touched so it's behind. But another scoring shot at least for the Lady Ds. Now they're at 1612. 9963 for the Eagles. And that's a long kick, and it's marked. And that kick goes up, and almost marked. She's got it, though. It sits for her, and that's, I think that was uh, behind. And let's see, it actually was a behind. Because Katie Ree's taking the kick in now. 9 10 64. And that kick is spoiled. The marking attempt, I should say, is spoiled. Kicked ahead once again by the Lady Eagles. And the kick goes through, and that's a goal. And now it's 10 10 70. So they'll bring it back up to center now. Women's footy, you're watching it right here on Stateside Footy on a Saturday afternoon. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget, we're available day or night online just to visit our Vimeo site. It's vimeo.com slash channels slash Stateside Footy TV. As it comes out once again, Lady D's trying to move it ahead. And anytime they try to move it ahead, the Lady Eagles getting in their way. However, Lady Eagles are able to move the ball pretty much with impunity right now. And there's a race going down to the pocket. Handballed off. Handballed back. Oh, they couldn't get it to her. Lady Demon's trying to work it ahead right now. As the winds pick up here. And kick once again going to the sticks. And bounces off the hands, but then is able to be marked by Katie Anderson. Anderson can't really dispose of it well, though. And the Eagles trying to move with it. She's got it now. And... And they wanted holding the ball on that as uh, Kelly was wrapped up and brought down, but no holding the ball. It was kicked ahead, and it was marked. And the Eagles with it now. Now the kick looking for Kelly, almost getting Kelly. It bounces out of her hands. And then heading up for the sticks, another kick. Still waiting for the uh, umpire's determination. And that looks like a behind. So it's 10 11 71 now. Katie Reed taking the kick. Almost intercepted there by Terse. And with it there, that's uh, Worrell. Worrell kicks it up. Takes a nice bounce. Can the Lady Ds get there? No, they can't. Well, actually, they're still there. And with it there, the kick in now. That's uh, po uh, Pody once again. And bounces off a set of hands. Comes down. Lady Eagles get it. And they're able to move it out of danger. Oh, that kick. A little bit of a weird curve, but it came out now. And that one looked to be a kind of ski jumped as uh, Christina Glynn tries to spoil the mark. Kick there from Kelly. Goes off, and let's see here. That's going to go off a foot. 
And that's a goal. And we've got the three telltale blasts of the whistle. That means it's the end of the quarter. We are indeed at three-quarter time. And right now the Lady Eagles are just pouring it on. At the end of three, the score stands. The Lady Eagles, 11 goals, 11 behind, 77 points. And the Lady Demons, one goal, six behind, 12 points. Final quarter of action coming up next, and you'll catch it right here on Stateside Footy. Australian rules football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to USAFL.com, find your team, check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We won the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at USAFL.com. Last quarter of action, here we go, and it's hit out once again by the Lady Eagles. But Demons almost got the clearance there, as it was Allison Monahan who tried to work it out. And with it now, Worrell, she is wrapped up. And the umpire will just call for it. So it'll be a toss-up. They'll just ball it up here. Goes up once again, and hit out to advantage once again. And they handball it ahead, and the Lady Eagles almost on the run there, but then the second handball couldn't really be fielded cleanly. Goes to ground. Allison Monahan in there trying to get the crumbs. And this kick through, and... And that's another goal. All of a sudden, the Lady Eagles with another one. So right there, 12, 11, 83 now for the Lady Eagles. Punched out of the ruck once again, and Gleason has been uh, such a difference maker today for the Lady Eagles. Handballed off, and kicked ahead, and that's running towards the sticks, and getting there uh, first will be Gleason. She picks it up and just tries to handball it to a teammate. Bunch of Lady Demons there. I think that's uh, Ree with it there. She's able to kick it off and gets a nice roll out of it, too. One of the Lady D's gets it, gets it to the boot right, right as she's wrapped up. Christina Glenn in there going after it. So is Monaghan. And the ball just gets loose and tapped ahead. Lady Demon's trying to work with it. Lady Eagle's bringing it back, though. And another kick toward the sticks. And Monaghan gets it there. She's wrapped up. She's able to get it to the handball, though. And... Lady Eagles just everywhere right now. And we've got a whistle and a stoppage, and the umpire's just going to call for it and ball it back up. Gets tossed up once again. Punched ahead by Gleason. And then just winds up in everybody's hands. Kick. Bounces. Another kick. And that's going to be another behind, so that's 12-12-84. And the Lady Demons take the kick in from their own back goal square. First one of the ball there, though, is wearing white. But it doesn't matter because it's going to be out of bounds. Kick goes up once again. And it is marked. Eagles with another chance at a scoring shot here. Bit of an angle, but we'll see what happens here. Gets kicked in. Oh, that is marked right in front. I believe that's Dempsey with it. Dempsey takes the mark. And actually, I believe that went through, so it'll be a... Actually, to be honest, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I thought it was a, a mark, but it, uh, I think it might have wound up going in out of bounds or out on the full. At any rate, I think Reed took the kick. And so that's what happened. So the kick was out on the full. And then Katie Reed kicked it back. And from there, Lady Eagles turned it back around. And that's another goal. So now they're up to 90 now. 13, 12, 90 for the Lady Eagles. A 
So there, so I thought I thought um, that it was marked by the Eagles. In fact, the kick uh, did go out on the full, so Katie Reed took the, uh, the free kick, kicked it in. It was intercept marked almost by the Lady Eagles, and then they moved it back toward the sticks, and then they wound up kicking it through. So that's what happens. That's what transpires, and that's why we're now sitting at 90-12 to 12, as, once again, it is knocked out, kicked ahead, and the Lady Eagles pretty much all over everything. As Kelly tries to get it, can't quite do it. Bunch of players going to ground. Handballed off by Gleason, but then Glenn picks it up. Lady Demons kicking it forward now. And we've got a whistle. And what's going to happen here? Looks like the Lady Demons will get the free kick. So here we go. Lady D is with the free kick. And kick goes in. Intercept mark there. That's Dempsey with it. And Dempsey kicks it ahead. Almost marked there by uh, Irondale, who has a couple of goals already. And she kicks it again, and that looks like that's going to go through, and that's going to be a minor score. So it's now 13-13-91. As they fetch the ball. And so the kick in to be made by Katie Ree from her own back goal square. She bombs it looking for Christina Glenn. Barb Dempsey gets in the way and she's going to turn it back into attack once again for the Lady Eagles. That is a big high kick. Can they get someone under it? No, not quite. They had Gleason, but she couldn't catch it cleanly. And once again, we've got a big pile there, a bunch of congestion, really hard footy out there right now. And the Lady D's kicking it and looking for a target. However, looked like, oh, there's going to be a collision there. And Lady Eagles get to the ball first. They kick it, and it's marked. Marked by Arendelle. Centering ball attempt, and Gleason will mark it. And I believe she's within range. She can add to the Eagles' lead right here. She's got the range. Does it have the aim? I believe that's another point. Yep, because Katie Ree's about to take the uh, kick in again. So 13, 14, 92. And almost marked there by Worrell. But then she is wrapped up by two Lady Eagles. Umpire will call for it, say my ball, and just ball it right back up. As it gets tossed up for grabs once again, hit out. And let's see. Right there with it. And, oh, she was caught high. I think she was caught high. Indeed she was. Allison Monahan. she will get the free kick. And kick goes up, goes through everybody. And winds up being picked up there by Sobral. Who then kicks it out looking for Kelly. Kelly gets it on a really high hop. And then she kicks it in toward the goals. And I hear a clap, but looks like it's going to be handed off to Katie Ree once again, so that'll be another minor score. 13-15-93. And once again, the Lady D is to take the kick in. And Katie Ree there tries to deliver it to a teammate that can't quite do it. And then skips along the ground. Oh, player knocked to ground, and we got a whistle. And I think that was a push. So it's going to be a free kick for the Lady Demons after pushing the back as adjudicated by the umpire and looking for a target in the middle. It is intercepted there by Barb Dempsey. And she's just going to play on, it looks like. Nope, she's going to take her kick. I saw six running up, not 16. And let's see. And not quite marked. She couldn't field it. And the handball goes to Kelly now. Kelly is able to get it to the boot. And that looks like another goal. And indeed, they're all headed back to center. And here we are right now at 14-15-99 for the Lady Eagles. 
Still 1-6-12 for the Lady Demons. And once again, the winds pick up here. Still not quite as crazy as uh, a couple of years ago when we played uh, the, uh, Quebec. And it was kicked ahead. Was that actually, I think that was last year, actually. Last year we had uh, one of our episodes where we were playing, the uh, Demons were playing Quebec. And uh, I was literally holding on to the tent for dear life by the end of that day. And uh, my cameraman operating our crane here almost turned into a test pilot. And the kick goes to Lauren Kelly and she'll mark it. And she'll kick it, and that's marked too. And that'll be kicked ahead, and let's see here. It'll skip through, and that looks like it'll be a behind. And the Lady Eagles have hit triple digits, 14, 16, 100 now. And once again, Katie Ree, the Lady D, will take the kick in from her own back goal square. And she will get that kick out. Long kick, nice kick along the wing. Goes over everybody, and then just continues to roll over the boundary. So as a result, we'll have a throw in on the far boundary. Probably about five minutes or so left in this game. And I guess the thing right now is the uh, Lady Eagles have already hit 100 points. The question is, can they get 100, a 100-point 100 difference now? Can they get a 100-point lead? That is marked, by the way. There's a battle for it, but she held on to it. That was, I believe, Kelly. Kelly makes the kick, and that'll be another single point, it looks like. 14-17-101. Lady Eagles need 11 points. Actually, I'm sorry, that skipped out. That is not a behind. That's a kick that rolled out of bounds. So as a result, they're doing the boundary throw-in, literally right in the shadow of the goalpost. The Lady Eagles left forward pocket. And the Lady D is trying to move it. But Kelly takes it, kicks it over now to Gleason. Gleason with a kick. And I think that's going to be, well, there we go. <laughs> I should have just kept that score there on my uh, worksheet because now, we're at, now we are at 14-17-101. Uh, Katie Reed delivering the kick in. And it is marked. And the Lady D's have it there. I believe it's Sam Worrell once again. Or is it Worrell? Or Worrell. Worrell, I think it is. And the Eagles get it back. And that's a long kick. And it's marked. It might be touched. And let's see here. No, it's a goal. I think I saw the goal umpire put out two fingers. Indeed, so now 15, 17, 107. So the Eagles are within a straight kick of having a 100 point margin. Get everyone straightened out. Get them back to center. And toss it back up again. Hit out once again by Gleason. As I was mentioning in our previous episode about uh, being able to track things like uh, hit outs and uh, possessions and things like that, if we tracked that, I'm sure Gleason's numbers would be completely off the chart right now because she's had an amazing number of uh, hit outs. Lady Demons have it now. Allison Monahan putting up for grabs. And let's see, there's a battle for it. Kelly will get it now. And the ball will go to ground. Lady D's have it. And I believe it's going to be out of bounds. And it goes up once again and hit out to advantage. Not really, really. Then kicked out and going to roll out of bounds, which means it'll be another boundary throw in on that far boundary. Tossed up once again and goes off a couple of sets of hands. Lady D is looking to work it back. And I believe it went out once again. So we'll have another boundary throw in. Up it goes again. And knocked out. Lady uh, Eagles have it though right now. They have the advantage, I should say. Oh, knocked out. Nice job there by Allison Monahan. Just getting that loose ball and just kicking it out of range of the rushing DC Eagle. Eagles work it back, though. Kick comes in, looking for, and it takes a bounce, and it's going to skip. It's going to hop, and she gets it and is able to kick it through. And so there we go.
So now the Lady Eagles are over the century mark in both points and margin as they now lead 16 17, 113 to 1612. So right now the Lady Eagles lead by 101 points. Just in the last dying seconds of this one here. And knocked up. And once again, that's uh, Gleason with the hit out. Kicked ahead there by the Lady Eagles. Chase for it now. And that's going to go over the boundary first, which means it'll be a boundary throw in. Just a few seconds left to go in this one. And the Lady Demons have it now off the clearance. Almost marked there, but then the ball goes to ground. Lady D's try and pick it up and move it ahead. And we've got a whole bunch of whistles. And that is full time. That's going to do it. And today the combined team of D.C. and Philly coming out to a huge win against the Boston Lady Demons. Final score... D.C. Philly, 16 goals, 17 behinds, 113 points. And the Boston Lady Demons, one goal, six behinds, 12 points. On the other side of the break, you'll see more women's footy as we dip into the vault for a stateside footy flashback featuring the Lady Demons and the Montreal Angels from 2014. Stay tuned for more action. We'll have it for you coming up right here on Stateside Footy. Are you into retro gadgets? Ta-da! Then here's your dose of old school tech. This is Tech Throwback. Your place to turn for the techno trend from way back when. On Tech Throwback, we look at old computers, classic video games, and all those little doohickeys that used to brighten up your day. Yeah! Tech Throwback can be seen on public access television, or you can check us out online at vimeo.com slash channels slash tech throwback. It's the way we used to compute and play back in the day, and you can watch it anytime on Tech Throwback. Getting ready for the start of game one here, this all-day uh, De Demons footy tournament, both the uh, Boston Demons and the Boston Lady Demons hosting some teams today. We've got teams coming from New York, Montreal, Halifax, Chicago, all over the place, at least all over the east part of the uh, North American continent. We're going to meet and uh, have some fun today and play some footy. And the uh, girls are taking the field right now on field two. Uh, there's going to be multiple games going on today on multiple fields. It uh, almost uh, kind of feels like nationals, although nationals were usually keeping track of five fields, not two. But uh, there'll be a lot of activity going on today, and you're going to see a lot of this right here on the uh, next few episodes of Stateside Footy. Of course, every uh, for the last few years anyway, the uh, Demons, uh, Lady Demons actually have hosted a tournament, and Montreal has pretty much had the best of it. In fact, even in the Montreal when they have their uh, preseason cup, they're pretty much in the thick of it too all the time. They're pretty much uh, winning these tournaments left and right. So... <laughs> We'll see how they go. Normally, um, the way it winds up going usually is the Angels win both their games. The Lady Demons uh, lose to the Angels, but then beat the New York Lady Magpies, and the Lady Pies lose both their outings. So at least that's the way it's been for the last couple of years we've done this. So let's see if uh, the Lady Ds can get over the line today and top Montreal as umpire Bruce Rogers gets them set to roll. It's a tournament-style footy today, which means uh, two 20-minute halves. And we've got the Montreal Angels out there, of course, in the uh, purple garb. Reminiscent a little bit of the uh, Fremantle Dockers, although they do have the, uh, the uh, actual angle down the front, not just the, uh, the V-lines like the Dockers have. And the Lady Demons, obviously, wearing the, uh, the uh, traditional red and the blue. And uh, coming out, and I think probably serving as one of the umpires, a former member of the uh, Boston Demons who's now moved to Chicago. I believe that's uh, Danny Eunice I see out there right now. They uh, get set to line up here, and uh, pretty soon we will have some footy here. Beautiful day for footy, too. Uh, sometimes when we were shot here, it's been very warm and very humid today. The wind's picking up a little bit, but uh, it's supposed to be partly cloudy, 76. A really good day for footy here at Ipswich River Park. Already having some curiosity seekers, too, wondering, what's going on here? What are these uh, people in these odd uniforms with these odd-looking fields doing? It's Aussie Rules football, folks. It's a blast. Hang around for a while, check out a game, and enjoy. And, of course, this is the uh, first game we've done this year for a stateside footy. Obviously, uh, last year we did a bunch. We didn't get to get out to uh, Nationals. We will be headed out this year. Nationals will be at Dublin, Ohio, the second weekend of October 2014. And stateside footy will be making the trek out there, and we'll get as many games to you as we can. Let's go over the rules with the 
players of both teams here while I sit here and vent for time like a complete idiot. And, of course, I'm editing this particular part out. Many thanks to our multitudes of uh, crew people who came out today to help. Obviously, uh, first mention has to go to Stacy Robert, mostly because of the fact that I happen to be married to her. But uh, thanks also to our camera people, Savannah Hubbard, Cal Serino, John Semino. I'm glad I didn't. I thought I was going to mess that up and wind up assigning both those guys to different different families. So uh, good thing that went. Uh, Brian Jocelyn, Paul Hippel are here too, and uh, we're going to have some fun today. Did I, anyone out? I don't think I did. Nope. Brian, Paul, John, Kyle, Savannah. Oh, and Christian. Christian too, who's here with us today. Thanks for coming in and uh, helping out, Christian. Players are taking their uh, positions on the field, and we're just about ready to start here. Just a reminder, by the way, if you want to learn more about the game and the people who play it here in this country, you can visit the website. It's uh, the United States Australian Football League, and it's at www.usafl.com. And if you want to know about, more about this show, all you have to do is uh, check us out at www.statesidefootytv.com. We're also on Blip. We're also on Vimeo. We have uh, viewers' guides, highlights, and, of course, complete episodes, too. In fact, uh, this is uh, probably already, already redundant if you're watching this program online. But we're also on cable access, too. We've appeared on uh, over 80 cable access stations in over 21 states. So if uh, you're watching this online and would like to watch it on the big TV after cable, call your local PEG Access Cable Center and say you want to get your footy on. Have them give us a call here at Stateside Footy or contact us or whatever. It's uh, Bill Robert at StatesideFootyTV.com. And the horn is going, and up we go. And the first match, and hit right out of the ruck by Eileen Hansen, kicked over, though, by uh, Margot Legault. Goes in front and uh, kicked out now by the Lady Demons. With that there, I believe that was, uh, actually I have to double check now, I think it was a uh, number, was that Andy Williams? I wasn't sure, I thought I saw 15. We've got a whistle here, she took the mark. And uh, that's uh, number 25, that's uh, Judith Stein, who obviously is here as a guest from the Baltimore Washington Eagles. Ball now in the uh, far boundary here. Angels now trying to kick it out of their back pocket. Goes up. Hanson's got it now. Hanson kicks it over and uh, looking for uh, not uh, getting Holly Tufel though. Tufel's got it now after a couple of bounces off the ground. Gets it to Hanson. Oh, Hanson fumbles it. She had it uh, after a quick handball. Hanson going to go towards the sticks and the kick is coming in and it's knocked down there. Nice job there in the back line. That's uh, number eight. That's uh, Mirabel Iboka. And let's see, the kick goes through there. And we're uh, waiting to see what the uh, determination is here. Let's see, uh, where's this going here with the... Actually, uh, no, actually it did not, uh, there's no scoring shot at all. It just went out, kick on the full, so then the uh, Angels will kick it in now from their own back pocket. And getting in there is, uh, once again, I believe that was uh, Tufel trying to get it there. Kicked over now towards the sticks, and I believe that's going to go for a minor score. It was touched, so that'll be a minor score, but Boston picks up the first score of the match. So right now it's uh, Boston, one behind one. And Montreal now taking the kick in out of their own back goal square. Kick goes high, and it's marked. Nice job there. And let's see. And they look to kick it up the wing now. And it's marked. Nice job there. Number 10, Amy Legault. No surprise there. One of the stars on this Montreal Angels club. Kick goes through everybody. Alyssa Olsen trying to get it now. It goes to ground. Bunch of players piling on top of it. Alyssa Arredondo on it there, too, for the Lady Demons. And uh, one of the Angels kicked before she can get the kick off. Coming back now, that's Hanson again. She's been everywhere already. Kicked up and, oh, tries to get it up. Could not uh, get it over to uh, number 12. That's uh, Lanny Silvio. And let's see, it uh, stops. And I believe that's uh, Sandy Destra right in front. Uh, let's see, handball's over. Tries to get it, but... Uh, couldn't get it to a teammate, so the Angels will bring it out now. Handball goes to Margot Legault, and she kicks it ahead through the corridor. It bounces. It takes a weird bounce and hops back. There's a chase for it now, but picking it up there will be Dora Bartulovic. And the Lady D's have it now. It goes to Emily Real. Real. Oh, she's tackled. Did she have prior opportunity? Let's see. Um, let's see. Yep, they're just going to ball it up. Referee Bruce Rogers calls for it, and they'll just be balling it up. And it goes up and hit out once again right to Tufel. Nice job there in the ruck by Eileen Hansen. And Tufel just puts a big kick towards the sticks. Won't have the carry. Not quite. It's marked right on right in the goal square. Nice job there. I believe that once again, that's uh, Iboka for uh, Montreal. And her kick in uh, is taken. And let's see. And we got a push in the back against the Lady D's. 
That call is going against uh, number 12. That's uh, Lanny Silvio. So as a result, the free kick going to the uh, Angels, and they kick it out now toward the boundary. Almost marked there by Eileen Hansen. Nice uh, shepherd there by Tufel, and Hansen gets it to the boot. Tries to kick it in, takes a bounce, and let's see, a couple of targets in there. We have that Sarah Muscarella in there, as well as a Silvio and a Sandy Destra in there as well. And uh, let's see, that's going to uh, go out. No, actually, it's still in play, or is it? Oh, they blow it dead now, and uh, and let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, yes, yes. And the boundary throw in now. Goes and uh, Eileen Hansen tries to hit it, and uh, she winds up keeping it in play, but she's going up against some tough competition. And we got a whistle, and it looks like they'll ball it up again right along the boundary in the Lady Demon's right forward pocket. And Rogers will toss it up for grabs once again and uh, gets hit out by Hansen. And let's see here. Bunch of players going after it on the ground. Silvio trying to come out with it, and uh, I think we have a low contact. And who's got the free kick? Free kick is going to, uh, it's going to be Silvio, Lonnie Silvio, for the Lady D's with a low contact. Goes high, and let's see. That looks like it's a goal. It is. Nice job there, number 12, Lonnie Silvio, after getting the free kick for the, uh, the low contact, the trip. She gets the free kick, and she puts a little lift into it, gets it right between the big sticks. As a result, the Demons have their first major score of the match. Score now stands. The Boston Lady Demons, one goal, one behind, seven points. And the Montreal Angels yet to score. Of course, at one point, a couple of years ago, the Lady Demons had a 24-point lead, only to uh, have it evaporate at the end with a great kick by Amy Legault. And let's see here. It's uh, moving up now, and uh, Lady D is once again kicking it toward the goals. And let's see with it there is uh, Muscarella. Muscarella soccer's it off the ground, and it's going to go wide. It'll be another minor. One, two, eight now for the Lady Demons. Lady Demons so far with some great territorial advantage. As they get this rolling here. And the uh, kick in by the Angels. They try and bring it up the wing now. With it is Legault. Legault taken down by Emily Real, but uh, I believe that's actually no play on, says Bruce Rogers. And it's kicked uh, towards the sticks once again by Silvio. And let's see here. I believe that's uh, another point. Yep. Another point for the uh, Angels. I'm sorry, the Lady Demons, rather. So now it's uh, 1 3 9. I believe Silvio did, uh, made the kick on that again. And uh, the kick-in comes, and it's marked. And kicked out now. Going and intercepted there. There we go. Holly Tufel, the marking machine. Last couple of years for the Lady D, she's made some big grabs, some big kicks, too. Oh, uh, tries to kick it. Uh, she had uh, Sarah Muscarella waiting there, but it's picked off. And let's see here. They're moving ahead now. Amy Legault's got it. She kicks it. Going towards the uh, forward half. Giving chase there is Kate Albin Sargent now, and she's going to uh, try and soccer it off the ground. Takes a weird, weird hit off the uh, edge of the ball. Skips wide at the last second. A little bit of a dribble kick there. As a result, that's the first point for Montreal. It's now 1-3-9 to one behind one. Kicked out, actually the kick in now by Elisa uh, Olsen. Once again, a weird bounce. Hansen's got it now. Hansen does a little bit of a sidestep and just kicks it now. Looking for, and uh, not quite getting Colleen Clark, I don't think. Uh, let's see. The ball is loose now. Giving chase there to Silvio once again. She's already had a couple of scoring shots. However, she gives it up. And, oh, a nice little bit of a smother there. And with it now is Emily Real. Emily Real with a handball again to Silvio. She drops it. She gets it back up. Kicks it towards the sticks again. And that looks good. It's another goal. Lonnie Silvio, one of the new recruits this year for the Lady Demons. Already firing up a storm. Two majors and a minor. She's kicked 2-1 already. And right now, 2-3-15 for the Lady Demons. One behind one so far for the Angels. And they'll bring it back up. Now they they bring it all the way back up. A little bit of a delay while they went to find the ball, and then they had to uh, kick it up to Bruce Rogers. And it's... Uh, 
Take back to Bruce Rogers now. As the action starts behind us on uh, field two, field one rather, that's right now, I believe that's uh, Quebec. And Chicago will have that game for you, too, here on Stateside Footy. Hit out of the ruck there by uh, Hanson. Out to advantage momentarily, but then they lose it. Kick back up now through the corridor for the Angels. And uh, getting it there is uh, Emily Luneau. Tries to kick it ahead, and got a number of players there. Kicked through the sticks. They didn't see who kicked it, but uh, I didn't see the two fingers. So Montreal on the board with their first major score. So now it's 2-3-15, Lady Demons, 1-1-7 for the Montreal Angels. And the Angels respond quickly. Lindsay Belsey, number 12, getting the goal for that. Thank you. My wife, Stacy, who's part-time camera person, part-time spotter. Thank you for that. And uh, with it, once again, that's Belsey. Belsey uh, getting harassed pretty heavily there and uh, grabbed there by uh, Alyssa Olson. And let's see, it didn't go 15, so it's not a mark. It's play on. And the kick comes through the corridor and winds up in the hands of Amy Legault. Always dangerous. And that's a big kick, and I think that's going. That's actually going to go out all the way. However, it hit the ground before it went out, so it's not out on the full. It's just a boundary throw-in in the Angels' left forward pocket. All right now, they trail by eight, and Hanson hits it out, and she's got it now, and it goes out of bounds once again. It'll be another boundary throw-in right in the Angels' left forward pocket. Comes back in, punched out by Hanson, and then trying to get there, I believe that was Stein. She's able to kick it out, but then it takes a bounce and stops. Amy Legault's got it now, Legault kicks it. Oh, nice intercept, Mark. I believe that was Tufel again. I was, no, that was not Tufel, because here's Tufel now. I'm sorry, I think that was Eileen Hanson who took that one. So now Tufel kicks it up, and it's marked. Nice catch there. Colleen Clark's got it, and she'll stop, and she'll take the kick. Waiting for more targets ahead to kick to, and she kicks it now. It's going out to the side. Tufel should get it, but it's spoiled by Legault. Margot Legault, she's got it now. She picks it up, but then Silvio's got her. Silvio, let's see. Uh, it's play on. Kicked ahead now, and goes over everybody, and there's a battle for it in there, and a big fight there for the Demons. Didn't see that. I think that was Stein once again for the Lady Ds, and uh, they're still going at it. Balls along the ground. There's a fight for it. Hard footy right now, and it's kicked out. And uh, just a little bit of a spear kick there from Hanson out to Tufel. Or is it Tufel to Hanson? Either way. Winds up getting marked, though. Angels have it once again. And that's Legault once again. And, oh, she can't mark it. That was uh, Sarah Warden, number one. Ball goes to ground again. A bit of a battle for it. Really hard footy out there right now. Clark's got it now. Gets it to Hanson. Hanson tries to line up a target. Gets it to Emily Real. Not 15, they say. She's got to play on. And, oh. And it's play on. Handball over to Tufel now. Tufel tries to set it up. Touches down. Gets it to the boot. It's heading for the goals, but it looks like it'll go wide. And it actually is going to be uh, knocked down anyway. And uh, that was knocked down once again by... Uh, Mirabel Iboka, who's doing a nice job in the back line right now for the Angels. And it's uh, moved ahead. Here's Margot Legault with it once again. Legault kicks it up and goes right through the corner, through everybody, but right into the hands of Veronica Ch uh, Chasse, or Chasse. And taking it down there. They're, they're trying to set up a kick in the goal square, but once again in the back line, as she's shown over the last few years, Alyssa Olsen doing a very nice job back there. Kick back toward the sticks now, though. And it bounces over a couple of heads, and they can't get it to each other. Race for it now. Barging in there, Eileen Hansen. And she's just trying to uh, get it to sit for her. Does now. She gets it to the boot. And let's see. It's got a little space to go. Emily Real getting in there now. And let's see. Aboka's in there as well. She's going to get it and kick it out along the ground. Winds up going to, whoop, oh, she's got it. Oh, she gets loose of the tackle there. That was uh, Elise Bowell for the Lady Demons. Kicks it ahead, and it's just going to dribble along the ground, and let's see. Looks like it'll roll out of bounds, and whoop, actually it's going to go through, looks like. And let's see. A little bit of a, a question there. Did it go out of bounds? No, it actually went out of bounds. And boundary throw in there. Punched ahead by Amy Legault. Gets it to her sister Margot. 
And she's got it now. Oh, nice little smother there. Nice job there once again. That was uh, uh, Bowell once again. And let's see. Looks like it'll be out of bounds. And as a result, they'll have another boundary throw in. At the uh, Lady Demons left half forward flank. Angels get it off the tap, and they try and uh, bring it once again through the wing. She can't get to it, though. Heavy pressure by the Lady Demons. Kicked ahead once again there by Tufel. Bounces off of somebody and then goes, and it takes a weird bounce. You know, the Aussie rules footy. It's an oblong ball, and sometimes it can take weird bounces, sometimes to your advantage, sometimes not. Nice mark there. I believe that was Iboka once again, who's doing a fantastic job back there, Mirabella Iboka. She kicks it out now, and uh, that uh, winds up going to Amy Legault. The go now, and she's just going to kick it. And getting in there, trying to tap it away, trying to do the spoil there is Lisa Arredondo. And it's a handball there from Hanson, trying to get it over to Holly Tufel. Hard footy there, Arredondo going for it. She just uh, taps it back. Kicked ahead there by Judith Stein. There'll be a contest. Emily Reels got the mark. Reel can make this kick. She made a kick like this into the wind at Nationals a couple of years ago. And she just puts it right to the boot. That's going to sail, and that's going to go through for a goal. Nice job there by the, the team number nine. You can always count on her to make some incredible plays out there. Number nine for the Lady Demons, Emily Reel. And Boston gets that goal back. They're up now three goals, three behinds, 21. 3-3-21 three, three, to uh, Montreal's 1-1-7. And they bring the ball back up to center. And umpire Bruce Rogers will bring it up for grabs once again. A little bit of an interchange question here, but uh, they've got the players on now for Montreal. Taken out of the ruck by the Lady Demons. Oh, almost marked there by Real once again, but it was spoiled. And let's see, uh, we've got a low contact, and the free kick will be awarded to Montreal. And I believe that's going to go to number two. That's Jane Fenwin. And she's going to kick it ahead. However, oh, she can't take it there. That was uh, number one once again, at least Bowell. Amy Legault's got it now for the uh, Angels. She handballs it ahead. And here comes Montreal. Oh, what weird handball. Winds up in the hands of Emily Hansen. Uh, Eileen Hansen, rather, who gets out of a tackle and then kicks it. And it's marked, Sarah Muscarella. I'm not sure if she's within range, but she can find some targets in there. Reels in there. I think uh, Tufel's moving forward, too. Oh, nice. No intercept mark taken. And she comes out now, and it looks like uh, Hansen will get it again. Eileen Hansen kicks it, looking for a target, but kicks it uh, right to Margot Legault. Margot Legault kicks it now. They're going to go right up the corner with it. Takes a hop off the ground. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It looked like it was going to take a hop, hop off the ground. It was actually marked and now kicked ahead. Low, kind of a spear kick, and it goes through a couple of Lady Ds. Winds up on the ground, and they battle for it right now. Once again, a hard footy there, but then it gets out into space. And going after it right now, that's uh, a couple of players. Uh, Hanson in there, as well as Amy Ligo. And now Judith Stein gets it to the boot, kicks it ahead. Muscarella, oh, just bounces off her hands, but she's able to get it off the ground. She's wrapped right up, though, by uh, Kate Albin Sargent. And she's able to handball it off now to Amy Ligo. And they kick it ahead, and Angels try and tap it ahead, goes through three players. With it now, Judith Stein. Stein gets it to the boot, smothered, though. And uh, Lady Demons just trying to get it out of there. Ball along the ground right now. And with it now is Olsen. Olsen kicks it ahead. And uh, looks like it'll roll along the boundary. And then come out, so it'll be a boundary throw-in, but a good result for the Lady Demons, as that boundary throw-in's going to come about halfway up the field, better than uh, having to defend on their back half. And it's a tap down once again by Hanson, but kicked ahead by Margot Legault. It's going to go through everybody. It's going to roll. And let's see here. It looks like it's going to go wide, and it'll go through for a point. Long kick. Rolled a whole bunch. Wound up being a bit of a dribble kick. And that was the uh, minor score. Margot Legault with that one. And the Lady Demons take the kick in. It's Elisa Olsen. And she gets it out now. And marked by Holly Tufel. Tufel at halfback flank. Moving through now. Kicking it up the wing. Looking for Emily Real. Real, oh, has to uh, reach up, can't get it. Montreal's got it now, but oh, nice job there. She's able to get the handball away, but nice tackle by Emily Real there on uh, Fenlon. And uh, with it now, that's Amy Legault once again. And Amy kicks it, uh, looking for a centering ball. And 
Target's in there. She's able to kick it. That's a high kick. And let's see. Looks like uh, she kicked the point there. That was a uh, Sarah Warden. It's another minor score for the uh, Angels. So now they're at 139. So they're two straight kicks behind the Lady Demons right now, late in the first half here. And it goes out into taking it there. That's Warden, who just kicked the behind. And it looks like she just kicked another scoring shot, waiting for the determination of the goal umpire. But I see everyone going back to center, so I'd assume it's a pretty safe assumption that one's a goal. So that's another uh, scoring shot for Sarah Warden. She kicked the behind before. There she kicks a goal. Now it's 2-3-15. All of a sudden, the Angels trail by one straight kick. And at times like this, it can be gut check time because the Angels are tenacious. Hit ahead once again by Eileen Hansen, but right to Margot Legault. And then she's hauled down, but is able to get the ball to the boot. And oh, overrun there by Eileen Hansen. Hansen's got it now. She gets up, gets out of that whole thing, and tries to kick it ahead. Looking for Andy Williams, and let's see. We've got a, a looks like a pulling on the jumper free kick. And it looks like the free kick's going to be going to Eileen Hansen. So Hansen gets the free kick for a tug on the, a tug on the jumper <laughs> or a tub on the bumper or something. I don't know. Anyway, her kick, uh, the intercept mark taken there. That's Amy Legault once again. Big booming kick into the forward half there. And it's marked. Marked by Emily Legault. So now we've got Margo, Amy, and Emily all playing together here. And it looks like that kick will be after the siren. And it's going to be marked there, and that's it. And they sound it. And that's the way this first half will end. Exciting footy at the end, at least for now. Demons up on top of the half. At halftime, the score is the Boston Lady Demons, three goals, three behinds, 21 points. And the Montreal Angels, two goals, three behinds, 15 points. Coming up next, we'll bring you the second half. It's an all-day event. We're covering Boston Demons footy. You're watching it right here on Stateside Footy. Game one here at Ipswich River Park on a Saturday afternoon, a gorgeous Saturday afternoon here in uh, late June. And right now we have the Boston Lady Demons hosting the Montreal Angels. Right now the host club is up by a straight kick, 3-3-21 to 2-3-15. So far the uh, goal scoring in the first half for the uh, Lady Demons, uh, one of the newer Lady Demons, in fact, one of the yeah, newest ones, Lani, Lani Silvio. Nice job so far. She's already kicked two goals and a behind. Another goal by uh, the stalwart Emily Real. She's got the goal in there as well, and those are the uh, three major scores right now for the Lady Demons. Two major scores for the uh, Angels, one kicked by Lindsay Benzie, and the other one kicked by Sarah Warden. And we're just about set as umpire Bruce Rogers throws it back up for grabs. And it's uh, knocked ahead there by Emily Legault. And gets it off now, and oh, running, a little bit of a running kick there, nice job, but then she tried to handball it off, and uh, they couldn't get it to uh, Emily Luno. That was uh, Dora Bartulovic, who had had that earlier kick, and... Uh, it's kicked up the boundary right now. Does it stay in play? It does. You've got to be careful with that. Make sure you don't put it out on the full. And with it right now, that's Iboka. Mirabella Iboka, who's done a nice job so far in defense. And it looks like it's out on the full, so it'll be a free kick. Free kick Lady Ds, and I believe taking it there is Alex Mims wearing the uh, number zero jumper for the Lady Demons today. And she kicks it ahead. Looking for, not quite getting Holly Tufel, although it gets to her in a bounce. She's able to handball it off now. Here comes Silvio with it again. Silvio with a kick. And let's see. Went across the face of goal. Ball still alive, or is it? Now I guess it went out because they're doing a boundary throw in. Boundary throw in now in the Lady D's left forward pocket. Once again, Hansen tries to hit it out. Goes toward the goals and still in play. Bounces off a foot there and. Winds up going out again, it looks like, or does it? Nope, looks like it'll be a, a minor score. So that's another point for the Lady Demons. So now it's 3-4-22. I have no idea who kicked that one. It was in the middle of a big pack. 
Ball out towards the center now, and uh, let's see. We got a free kick, and it'll go to Eileen. Ha actually, it'll go to Alex Mims of the Lady Demons. And Mims has it now. Kicks up, looking for Tufel, and Tufel not able to mark it. Tries to soccer it off the ground, can't do it. They go to the ground with it now. A battle for it uh, between a couple of players there, and it looks like it'll be uh, called for by the umpire Bruce Rogers. Indeed, it is. And he'll toss it up. And the Angels trying to get it out of there right now. Lady Demons trying to get a scoring shot up, but uh, let's see. Let it roll out. Looks like it rolled out, so it'll still be a boundary throw in. Still in the, uh, for, uh, actually, will it be a boundary throw in? Wasn't sure. Doesn't see now. Actually, no, Tufel's got it, so it must have gone out on the full. So it's a free kick for Holly Tufel. Didn't see the initial. Uh, Verdict from the referee. Kick toward the goals. Goes over everyone, and that looks like a goal. From the boundary, tough angle. Threading the needle there was Holly Tufel. And right now, Lady D is adding to that lead. Four goals, four behinds, 28 points now. And they're up ahead of uh, Montreal by 13 right now. It's 4-4-28 uh, to 2-3-15. And... Hansen hits it, hits it out of the ruck, gives it to Tufel, who kicks it ahead, looking for uh, Sandy Destra. She loses the ball, though, trying to get it back along the ground. Once again, a hard footy down there in the uh, Demons' goal square. We get a whistle, and it looks like uh, Bruce Rogers will call forward once again and toss it up right in front of the Lady Demons' goal. Hansen in there again. She hits it out to advantage, tries to get it over to Destra, who's hauled down. Actually, or at least she had the ball taken away. She's got it now. And ball hits the ground once again. Mims has it. Mims with a snap kick and a goal. Nice little snap right across the body. Just took it, got herself a little space, and then kicked it basically in the opposite direction of where she was going. A little bit of an angle there. But Alex Mims with the goal there. And the Lady D's pile it on now. And it's 5-4-34 now. Lady Demon's adding uh, quite a bit of punch. Quick two majors and a minor after halftime. Still a long time to go, though, and we're talking about a very dangerous club in these Montreal Angels. And once again, Bruce Rogers will put it up for grabs. Another hit out there. And taken down there. Nice tackle by Eileen Hansen. She's all over the place right now. Hansen kicks it ahead now. And let's see. Skips along the ground. Oh, it goes right past Muscarella, and Silvio can't pick it up either. And it's taken there, and the Angels try and kick it out now, and it's just going to uh, hit the ground, bounce a little bit, and then goes toward the boundary. Still alive. Kicked ahead, though. I believe that was Hanson. And let's see. Marking it, though. Nice job. To get a lot of open space now. And she takes a running bounce, too. And it's kicked ahead. Big kick there. I believe that was uh, Emily Legault who kicked that. Down by the Demons' goal. Actually, the uh, Angels' goal, the Demons' defensive goal. And she's wrapped up. And let's see. Tackle there. And free kick given to the Demons after that tackle. Lady Demons have it now. I believe that's Andy Williams with it now. Emily Real coming on now, an interchange for the Lady Demons. Oh, it goes uh, right to the feet. She can't pick it up. I believe that's Judith Stein. She's got it right now. Is able to get it to the boot. And then gets it right to uh, one of the Lego sisters. There are three of them out there today. And tackle. Nice job there, Eileen Hansen. And holding the ball. Free kick there. Hansen earning that one. Holding the ball slash impro improper disposal, however they call it. Hansen made the tackle. Her target was unable to dispose of the ball properly before the tackle. Now the Angels kick it back up. So Hanson got the free kick there, and Hanson's got it once again. She kicks it looking for Emily Real. Real marks it, and she's gonna, she plays on now. And she kicks it ahead looking for Tufel. Tufel's got it. Mark is called, but she's going to play on. Tufel now with a big kick in toward the uh, goal area. Bounces off the hands of Lonnie Sylvia. And Sylvia, I believe, has just given up a free kick. That kick low there, yeah, it was a low contact and uh, possible kicking in danger too. So as a result, the Angels will get the free kick in their back pocket. 
And they kick it up ahead. Now lining up under it. Nobody because it goes over everyone's head. And it takes a bounce up. Bounce preferential to the Angels, but they couldn't pick it up. Stein's got it now. Gets it over to Hanson. Hanson to Tufel. Tufel just moves with it. She kicks it ahead again, trying to get it forward. Takes a nice bounce. Winds up by the hands of Mims. Then Mims gets wrapped up, though. And the Angels try and bring it back right now. Amy Legault with it, trying to move it ahead. She's tackled by Emily Real, And then we've got uh, a push in the back. So that'll be a free kick. Free kick awarded to the Angels there. It's Amy Lego with it, actually, and she kicks it ahead. And takes a couple of bounces. Bounces over everybody. Lisa Arredondo trying to get into it now for the uh, Lady Ds. And we've got a tug on the jumper and a free kick. And it goes to the Lady Demons. So the free kick going to the Lady Demons, Lisa Arredondo, who is actually named to uh, one of the national teams this year that will be uh, participating in the International Cup. Arredondo kicks it ahead. Intercept mark taken by the Angels. I believe that's Emily Lego once again. You're going to hear from those sisters a lot today. She kicks it ahead. Almost marked there. Nice try on that one by uh, Kaylin Deal. Angels have it now. And they're looking to make something happen with it. They kick ahead. Only person there, though, is Andy, Andy Williams. He's going to be able to get it, I think. Nope, actually it bounces. And Belsey's got it now. Belsey hauled down. And Judith Stein picks it up there. Kicks it now, looking for the uh, near wing. Goes over the head of Emily Real. There's a race for it now. Iboka's in there, real two. And Iboka tackling Alex Mims. Comes out and uh, got a free kick. Not sure if we had contact or maybe uh, didn't notice the uh, signal from the umpire, Bruce Rogers. But nonetheless, free kick actually turns into a handball to Margot Lego. She kicks it toward the forward 50, but it's taken there by the Lady Dees. Kick back now going up to ground and marked on the far wing there by Emily Real. Real at midfield looking for a target. She's got a target set and looking for Tufel. Intercept mark, though, taken by Amy Legault, one of the uh, Legault sisters, the first family of Quebec footy, and actually kicks to her sister Margot. Now she's able to get it to the boot as well. Goes in front and uh, a little bit of a battle there. A couple of bodies hit the deck, and there's a battle for it now, and it looks like uh, we'll just get a whistle. And it looks like umpire Bruce Rogers will call for it just to ball it up. Up goes the toss, and it's a hit out. No clear advantage. However, getting it there, Ashley Singer for the Lady Demons, and she kicks it up ahead, and it goes through the hands of Margot Legault. There's a race for it now, picked up by Legault, and she kicks it ahead. Goes off the hands of Eileen Hansen. Hansen battling there for the Lady Ds. She tips it off. Nice little knock on to Holly Tufel, who now gets it to the boot and delivers it. However, can't quite get it to Emily Real. She's got it now, but she's wrapped up by a Boca. Emily Real now tries to hit on over to Lonnie Sylvia. Nice job by Aboka standing her ground, but it goes to Tufel now. Tufel with a kick just past the outstretched hands of number three. That's Colleen Clark and goes over now to Cho Tseng, and she's going to get tackled with the ball. Question was, was that a proper handball or not? I think uh, perhaps Clark got pinged for a throw there. So now the Angels will kick it. Going back to center. Joe just goes right off the hands of Alex Mims. Race for it now. Eileen Hansen in there going up against a couple of purple jumpers. Three purple jumpers now. And Hansen still stands her ground. She's able to get it. And she gets away from a tackle. Gets it over to Lani Sylvia now with a handball. Sylvia outruns a tackle. She puts the ball down and she's going to deliver it off the boot. Looking for Emily Real. It goes a little wide. And it's kicked out there by the Angels. And they look to uh, take it through again. However, Sarah Muscarella. Oh my goodness. She was going down for the ball. One of the Angels was coming forward and Muscarella caught uh, front on. High contact there, so she'll get the free kick. A little bit of uh, explaining there. Uh, Bruce Rogers, I think, telling everyone just to uh, calm down a little bit that they're there before someone gets hurt. Uh, that was a, She just ran in, and she caught that uh, full head on. She got right up, though. And uh, she gets it off the side of the boot, trying to get it to Hanson. It goes over her head, though. And it's uh, taken there. And here come the Lady Ds with it again. That's Mims. Tries to handball it over to Emily Real. Tapped ahead by the Angels. And let's see, they still have it now. Trying to get it there is Sang, though. Sang over to uh, Emily Real. She tries to get it off the ground. There are three or four players going for it. And uh, it'll be held up there. But uh, she just picked the ball up off the ground and then get tackled. So there was really no uh, prior opportunity. So they'll just ball it up. Hit out once again. Nice job there, Eileen Hansen, getting it to Mims. Kick goes off the foot over to Lonnie Sylvia. Sylvia now with a kick. And it's smothered. And let's see. Oh, Sang tried to hit it through. Actually uh, tried to get it to the boot first, missed, and she tried to slap it through, at least get a point out of it. So right now, Montreal battling in the shadow of their own goals, their own defensive goals, I should say. 
And Bruce Rogers will ball it up once again. And uh, tapped out once again to no real advantage. But uh, coming out of the scrum, at least uh, for a bit there, were the Angels, but it doesn't matter. They're going to get the free kick now after some high contact after that last contest for the ball. It's all about contested footy right now. Kick goes right through and uh, goes to ground. Punched ahead. Nice job there by Amy Legault. And then uh, punched over her head. Nice uh, little bit of work there. That's uh, Kaylin Deal, number seven. And Emily Real takes the mark now. Real, one of the key players for this Boston side. She tries to get some targets on ahead, and she kicks it. It's going straight. However, it uh, actually it wasn't going as straight as it looked like it was off the boot. And as a result, it goes to ground, and uh, we'll tie it up once again. As you had Sylvia in there along with uh, Cho Seng and uh, Jane Fenlon, too, for the Angels. Ball goes up again, hit up by Hansen. Tried to get it out to Real, but with it now, the Angels. And here they come with it there is Dora Bartulovic. She gets it over to, uh, I believe that's Emily Legault now. And tries to get it to Lindsay Belzy, but Belzy couldn't hang on to it. Legault with it once again. That's Amy Legault. And Belzy, handball out. Nobody but Lady Demons there, though. Eileen Hansen has it, but then she's quickly wrapped up. She's dispossessed, and it's knocked ahead once again. And it goes now to the boot of number seven. That's got uh, actually, uh, let's see, Bartulovic, and she's actually going to kick. And that's going to wind up being a point, I believe. A little bit offline, came up a little short, but nonetheless, a, a point. For Montreal, so now it's uh, Boston, 5-4-34 to Montreal, 2-4-16. And Alicia Olsen now to take the uh, kick in from her back goal square for the Lady Demons. Kicks it out looking for Hansen. Hansen, oh, she had her hands on it but just couldn't hold the mark. And uh, going forward now, that was uh, Mascarella in there. Also uh, Margot Legault, and she's going to put it uh, well wide. And, in fact, it's going to be out on the full. Demons free kick in their own back pocket. So right now we've got a 28-point ball game. I'm sorry, an 18-point ball game, I should say. That's what I get for trying to do math on the fly. Olsen takes the free kick, goes out, and doesn't even get to uh, Judith Stein. It actually uh, winds up bouncing off the ground and then rolling out. It'll be a boundary throw-in. For the, for the Montreal Angels, it's going to be a boundary throw-in at their right half-forward flank. And the score stands right now, the uh, Lady Demons 5-4-34 and the Angels 2-4-16. Keep in mind, we are getting late in the game, and so far the Lady Demons have yet to get past the Montreal Angels. This could be a historic turnout if it happens to uh, continue in the same way it goes right now. could be a, a historic result for the Lady Demons as the ball goes out of bounds once again. Tossed in by the boundary umpire, a.k.a. the... Uh, Boston Demons' Mike Shepard. Handball out of the ruck goes to Lindsay Belsey. Now Belsey gets it to the boot. It's heading for the goals, and it goes off of a number of players there. Tapped ahead, and let's see. Uh, kicked out. It looks like uh, that's going to be kicked out there by uh, Emily Luneau. So that's another point now for the Angels. As a result now, it's a 2-5-17 against the Lady Demons' 5-4-34. And coming out of that kick in, once again, the Angels look to press and move ahead with it. After Amy Legault originally corralled it, uh, Demon, the Angels rather tried to push it ahead, but Emily Real kicks it in the mark taken there by Lonnie Sylvia. So now the Lady Demons are on the march. She kicks it ahead, looking for a target, but it's going to go short. She was looking for Alex Mims, but it winds up uh, bouncing off of Margot Legault, who's got it now. But then she's held up by Mims. She gets the handball out, once again goes over to Bartulovic. And uh, Hansen with it now. Hansen being harassed heavily there by Amy Legault. Just tries to get it to the boot, maybe do a soccer off the ground or a toe poke, and they're grabbing it there. And, oh, that's a little high contact. Not called, though. I think that was Margot Legault, the uh, attempt to uh, tackle her. Might have gone a little high, but uh, Demons got away with the one. But then running into a brick wall there, one of the Lady Ds. And with it now, once again, I believe that's, uh, that's Amy. And the mark taken, nice uh, leaping mark there, taken in center to the ground by Lindsay Belsey of the Angels. Montreal on the march now. Looking to chip away at this Boston lead. Takes one hop. Goes into the hands of, that would be uh, Kaylin Deal for the Lady Ds. Belzy's got it again, though. Belzy tries to kick it ahead. Goes along the ground. Just toe poked out by Alicia Olsen. She's going to pick it up and run with it now. And she's able to get it to the boot before she's tackled. Takes a bounce. Goes past Emily Real. Bounces off a couple of feet. Margot Go takes it off the ground there. And uh, she's able to get the kick off just before she's tackled by Sylvia. And the mark is taken by Montreal. And here they go once again. They're on the go. They're on the lug go, I should say. Because that was one of the lug go sisters there kicking it into the uh, forward uh, half.
half forward flank there, I should say. That was a uh, Amy Lee going. She's got it once again now. She's everywhere. And she kicks it in toward the goals, and it goes off a set of hands. And let's see here. Looks like it'll be uh, another single point there. Once again, going off the boot of Emily Luneau. So now the score stands 2 6 18 to 5 4 34. And the difference in this one right now within three straight kicks. Kicked out now and all goes off the hands of, I believe that was uh, Kaylin Deal once again. She tried to take the uh, kick in from the back goal square. She's able to kick it ahead, though, and goes into Lady Demon hands. And uh, she's able to get into the boot before she's taken down. Nice little tap there, though, by one of the Angels, but it's not going to help us. Sylvia's got it now. Lonnie Sylvia has some room to run. She's going to handball it off to Muscarella now. Sarah Muscarella with a kick, and it's heading toward the sticks. Still heading there, and let's see here. It's going to go and... I believe that is going to be a behind. Indeed, it is. So that's a single point. All right. Thanks, Andy. So 5-5-35 five, five, now. The uh, point scored by Sarah Muscarella. And they take the kick in from their own back goal square. They do Montreal. And it goes through the center of the ground now. Tap back and uh, with it there. Momentarily, I believe that was uh, a deal once again. But uh, the Angels have it now. Goes off the ground. Emily Lego. I'm sorry, that's Amy Lego. who tries to pick it up. And kicks over. It goes past everyone now. And let's see. Moving in with it there. That's Eileen uh, Hansen just trying to get herself some running room. Winds up almost going into Montreal hands. And it's toe poked back and kicked ahead. And it bounces at the center of the ground. Ouch. Ouch. Trying to get it there once again. I believe that was uh, went between uh, Kaylin Deal and number one, Elise Ballwell, for the Lady Demons. Kicked ahead. Goes through the hands of Lonnie Sylvia. She's able to get it now. It didn't really sit for her, so she got to go get it. She does, though. Nice job, too, selling the candy, getting away from that tackling attempt. She's got some space to run, and she's just going to go with it. Sell some more candy, and she is on the move. Touches down once again, and let's see here. I wonder if uh, she's getting pinged for running too far. Indeed. That's the only thing I could think of. Kick now by the Angels, and marked, and they're just going to play on. Goes over now. That's uh, Bartulovich once again. Tries to get it to... Uh, Emily Lego, and the kick goes to the center of the ground. Big chase for it there. Sylvia now gets it off. I believe that's real with it right now. Real with a big kick, uh, kick in toward the forward area. And let's see, it's going to be out of bounds and a good result for the Lady Demons, though, as they will have a boundary throw in at their right forward pocket. Lady D is up right now, 35 to 18. And... Balled up once again. And here comes Montreal with it once again. Kick toward the center of the ground. Getting there, though, is Judith Stein. Stein moving in there along with Eileen Hansen. She's able to handball it off. And it looks like it got through that uh, Montreal defense. And Sylvia's got it there. And she's going to get pinged for holding the ball. Improper disposal, probably. <laughs> she tried to get, get away with it, uh, basically get the ball away with her hands over her head, and it just didn't happen. So kicks and intercept mark taken. I believe that's Kaylin Deal once again. Very nicely done. Actually, I'm sorry, that is not. Uh, I've got to double check the number on that. Uh, and it doesn't matter because that's the uh, final horn, it looks like. And indeed it is. That's full time. We mentioned it before, a historic result on the table, and indeed the Lady Demons have come away with it. The final score here in the first game today at Ipswich River Park, the Boston Lady Demons, five goals, five behinds, 35 points, and the Montreal Angels, two goals, six behinds, 18 points. First time in the history of the Boston Lady Demons that they have gotten home. They've gotten over the line against the Montreal Angels. A huge win to open the day for the Boston Lady Demons. Once again, the 34 to 18 margin. That'll do it for all the action from Millennium Park today and also for this episode of Stateside Footy. But we have something very special coming up next time. We'll be traveling to Vermont for the Battle of the Northeast. We'll be bringing you action as the Quebec Saints come down to Shelburne, Vermont to face three New England teams. That's right, I said three New England teams. The Boston Demons and the Maine Cats will be there and also a new side representing the state of Vermont called the Black Diamonds. We get set to see the birth of another club this season right here on Stateside Footy. Don't forget, you can catch the program anytime, day or night. Just go online. It's YouTube.com. Look up Stateside Footy 
or go to our Vimeo channel. It's vimeo.com slash channels slash TV. And, of course, you can keep up with us on social media, too. Like us on Facebook. Our page is up and running. And it's at www.facebook.com slash TV. You can also follow the show on Twitter. The handle is at Bill R underscore SS footy. Until next time, on behalf of our crew, Dave Habib, Tristan Levine, and Stacey Robert, I'm Bill Robert. Thanks again for joining us, and come back for our next edition of Stateside Footy. (laughs) 